Freesat, UView and Virgin Media are just some of the ways you can listen. It's 7.39. An influential right-leaning think tank has described Britain's so-called sink estates as nothing short of a national embarrassment and says that all of the major parties need to make turning them round one of their main priorities over the next 10 years. The group's called Policy Exchange and it says that years of neglect have led to acute social problems that are entrenched and generational. Seven years ago, the Benchill estate in Manchester was described as the worst in Europe. So how have things changed since then? Police in Manchester are understood to have arrested a teenager who was pictured taunting the Conservative leader David Cameron with a gun gesture. The 17-year-old youth has been charged with possessing cannabis. There's nothing for young kids to do. Some of them have, have a bad upbringing and that, don't they, some of them? Family's not working, not having a dad there to something you know, for, for to, um, to look up to. Bit of authority in, in their household and that. Like, if they've only got the mum with them, then it's hard for them, isn't it? I feel safe on the streets. Like, at any time, any time of the night. I don't think there's a problem with, like, any violence or anything like that. Some people give it a bad name, and really, it's not that bad, to be honest. Um, get, it happens everywhere, don't it? You get incidents everywhere. I think they're doing quite a bit with the rents, and they're building new properties, and knocking down ones that don't need to be there, yeah, no. I think they're doing well. I've seen it, I've lived here a long, long time, and I've seen it change. I think it's changing for the better. Well, Pauline Pierce became known as the Hackney heroine when she stood up to groups of rioters in 2011, and she joins us now. Morning, Pauline. Good morning. How have things changed for you since 2011? Well, there's been many improvements um, in and around Hackney, um, but, you know, as, as with improvements become progression and with progression becomes all sorts of complications because we've got this social um, the uh, gentrification going on in Hackney at the moment. So where they're cleaning up the old estates and rebuilding them and, and regenerating it, the whole area, people, it becomes more attractive to those outside who then come in, the council are sell selling off half of these uh, uh, properties. So there's less housing out there, which is proposing more problems. You so find three generations of families living in one house. Mm. And, and the problems then move elsewhere as well. That's right, because you see what happens then. People are being priced out of their areas. They can't afford to live there. They're moving out further afield. And, and, and then certain social behaviour then goes further afield. So, you know, no, you're, you're six of one and a half dozen of the other. So is that also, does that also build into ha not having the pride in where you grew, where you grew up, where you live from? You're, you're dislocated, as it were. Well, quite. You know, you, you, it's almost like you have no say in what what your life what the future of your life is. You, you're born in an area, grown in an area, all your family ties are there. And then suddenly you're, you realise you're in a situation where you just cannot afford to be there. You've got to go. So then you've cut all your family ties. You, you cut everything you know and have to start a new life in a totally new place. Well, the Housing Minister, Brandon Lewis, has said that the government is committed to transforming communities. They've given councils new powers to help residents reclaim the streets from criminals. They've invested £150 million to kickstart regeneration. D are you seeing that happening? I mean, what can politicians do? I think they really, like you say, go back to basics, read this report, because, I, I mean, I, I've had a, a quick look at it, and I I think there's a lot in there that that's shouting out to me. And I think they really do need to readdress the situations and, and put more effort into their communities. Because at the end of the day, it's the communities that they're looking for for the votes. So if you want the votes, reach out to the communities, do the right thing, be supportive, well, I think that's good advice, Pauline. Thank you very much indeed. Pauline Pierce, who became known as the Hackney heroine in 2011. It's 7.43.